Hey, what's going on? This is Ryan Masters, paid traffic architect at Squeeze Juice Marketing, and today I'm going to do a live AdWords account audit that you can watch behind the scenes and apply to yours if you have one. If you are considering using AdWords, make sure you download my free report. You can click the link below, the three costly AdWords mistakes, because if you don't, are making any one of these, Google will suck your money out faster than you can say tomorrow. And it's happened before, so you don't want that to happen to you. Now, let's go ahead and dive into the account here. Uh, just quick background on me. I've been managing AdWords accounts for over five years. My clients average an eight to one return. That means for every dollar they give me, I bring them back eight dollars. And what we're going to look at here is this is actually a friend's account. And we are going to do, they asked me to take a look and see if we can't set something up. And so we're just going to look at the first step here, and that is with paid traffic, we always want to see what worked in the past. That's what we want to find first. And the reason we want to find that is because we want to take what worked, turn it back on, and scale it up. That's kind of one of the, the main strategies when it comes to purchasing your traffic. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll just set it to all time. You can follow along on the screen here. And we're going to look and see, okay, so we had some traffic back in the day, and uh, do we have conversions? Yes, so we had conversion tracking set up. That's good. You know, a lot of people are not using conversion tracking, and what happens there is you're essentially buying traffic and sending it to your website, but you have no idea if the traffic is doing what you want them to do. You know, you don't want people to come to your website. That's not what you want. You want people to purchase your product or request put in a request for more contact information so that you can contact them or your sales reps can contact them. So that's that's called a conversion and we want to make sure or you want to make sure that that's always measured whenever you're paying for traffic otherwise you could just be having your money wasted. And so again starting with this first strategy of an audit of we want to see okay what worked is we start looking and we want to sort as we've already got it done here by converted clicks. And this is this is just giving us a sense of what were people interested in the, in in the past. Now this is a CPR company, so they provide certification services for people looking to, uh, you know, it could be nurses or anyone who needs to be CPR certified. And so it makes sense that we start with those very close keywords. And you can see how here's where we've got some of the you know, this keyword right here had the most conversions. Now, this is what's called a modified broad match keyword. So this isn't the actual search terms that people were typing in. So again, on this hunt of finding out what were people typing in and what did they use to, to convert, we're going to dig a little bit deeper here. And now we're getting the exact, exact information that people typed in. And so you can see how this is way different than just that keyword. And so what you want to do here is first we'll filter it so that it is just showing keywords that converted because that's at this stage that's all we are interested in. So we get that rocking. And now we've got a little list here of, of keywords that people signed up for CPR training. So we know that people who are typing this in, well, we have a strong indicator that people who type this in are more, more likely to buy. So let's go ahead and start with these keywords. So what you want to do, or what I would do in this case, is download these and put them in a spreadsheet so that I can sort them uh, by, by different ad groups. Because I wouldn't want all these keywords in one ad group because someone who's searching for something, Fairfax, Virginia, that's a city, and someone who's searching for something in uh, Manassas, Virginia, that's also a city, but it's a different city. And, and we want to get... you know, the one another strategy for success when it comes to paid traffic is you want to deliver the right message to the right person at the right time. And so someone who types in CPR certification in Manassas, they're they're saying, show me an ad that, that talks to me about CPR classes in Manassas, Virginia. And someone who does it in Fairfax, Virginia is asking for the same thing, but they want to see Fairfax, Virginia. So the way that you win is you have two different ads and one that says Fairfax, Virginia for the Fairfax, Virginia guy, and the other that says Manassas for the Manassas guy and and so this is kind of what we do uh, we'll, or this is why we're doing this is so we can look and see these get these types of insights so that's the first part the second is the ad copy we want to see you know what messages resonated with people and, and worked so we flip on over here to the ad copy and you want to make sure you turn off let's get all these enabled because we may have deleted ads 
Let's go to the most conversions. Now it doesn't necessarily mean it was the best. So we look at the conversion rate. So this was a little bit higher. Um, so here we can see CPR. This one only had 22 clicks, so it's you know it's it's good to know. But this one has the most. Um, so this went through a lot. So CPR certification in Nova. So that's short for Northern Virginia for the area. Again, when you're doing geographic targeting, it's important to know the lingo of the people in the area. Otherwise, you just don't have an advantage that you could be take that you could be using. Um, so hands are hands-on CPR training available, taught in Manassas or your location. So what we do is take the keywords that we're converting, pull those out, put them in a separate ad group that that the related keywords are together and then start with this ad copy in that ad group because it's already proven to work. The next thing then is we write a more specific ad for each ad group and let them test and run against each other and see which one performs better because yes we know historically this ad has done okay and maybe it will continue to be the winner but that's why again another reason we use paid traffic is you we can make whatever assumptions we want but they all get validated or invalidated based on the test data that we are purchasing Again, if you're using it with the right kind of setup and not making, you know, starting off with missing one of these three mistakes that I talk about in the report. So that's kind of a quick overview. We'll do some more videos here later. But again, if you want to, if you're considering paid traffic or paid search or hiring someone to do paid search, make sure you go through the three costly mistakes report by clicking the link below so that you don't lose a lot of money. Thanks.